Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Free pick in Taiwan baseball coming up at the end of this particular report. I uh, want to let you know real quick that we're in the NFC North and I'm going to preview the Green Bay Packers early preview for the upcoming 2020 season. We'll update it as we get closer to the actual start of the season when that becomes available. Uh, but that's what we're going to do today. Got the Green Bay Packers as we continue in the NFC North. We've also got the Taiwan free baseball play for Sunday morning. That's coming up. First quick note, uh, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, you can do it right now if you wish, or you can do it now and wait for North American Sports to get back underway. There are guys who are doing horse racing at Doc Sports. There are guys that are doing soccer. There are guys like me who are doing Taiwan baseball, CPBL, and uh, you can use a free $60 against those daily packages. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video if you want to give DocSports.com a trial run, or again, wait till the North American Sports uh, get back in to play. Uh, as far as what we're doing, we are on the NFC North. We started with the Vikings the other day. If you've missed any of our NFL previews thus far, we've done seven or eight teams thus far, uh, you can go to my YouTube page and check it out. Uh, but we're going to continue in the NFC North with the Packers. Then we're going to give you that Sunday morning free Taiwan baseball play. As far as Green Bay is concerned, uh, William Hill has an over-under of nine. Juice on the over, about a buck twenty-five. Uh, the over-under wins total. And also, uh, as far as the odds to win the division, you're looking at Green Bay plus $1.40. Now, I found other books that has their over-under wins total of nine and a half minus $1.10 either way. If I was going to play this right now, I would lean towards under nine and a half, lay the dollar ten. And at nine and a half. Now, if you look at what this team has done in the offseason, I'm just not crazy about it, guys. I, I think they've gone after players that they had to settle for rather than who they really wanted. I mean, they know they're not going to have Brian Belaga, so they go out and they get a right tackle by the name of Rick Wagner. Rick Wagner, I should say, uh, did not play well with the Lions, also in the NFC North. Uh, he's not going to be at the same level or as capable in all likelihood as what they got out of Brian Belaga. Uh, they signed Christian Kirksey. He's an inside linebacker got him for two years for 16 mil and here's the thing it's another downgrade as far as I'm concerned no more Blake Martinez and uh, I don't really think that Christian Kirksey is going to come close to making up for what Green Bay is going to be losing at that linebacker spot so for me it's a situation where a couple of key spots on the offensive line and in the linebacking core is going to be downgraded a significant amount for the Packers. Now, I thought I, I saw this really cool assessment of what Aaron Rodgers, the running back, means to this team. And it was basically done by Bill Barnwell, who put this together. And basically what he said is that the Packers were third in the NFL last year and expected points added per play when Aaron Jones was on the field, 29th when he's replaced by his backup, who was Jamal Williams. Jones helped Aaron Rodgers, according to this report. Uh, when Jones was on the field, Rodgers QBR 67.7. When he's not on the field, Aaron Rodgers QBR all the way down to 28.7. So you can see how much Aaron Jones means to this team. They've got to keep him healthy. And he's obviously no surprise on the field any longer after what he's meant to the team in the time that he's been with Green Bay. Makes it a little bit easier to defense or defend, I should say, and develop a defense uh, to try to keep Aaron Jones less meaningful when he's on the gridiron. I think it's going to be tough for Green Bay to get the same out of him, the same results when he's on the field as they have the past couple of seasons. Now, when you look at their strength of schedule, I've rated it 131st uh, in the league. I give them 131 points. It's the way I break down, not 131st in the league, but 131 points strength of schedule. Uh, they have tough home games against Philly and Tennessee. Uh, the road schedule is a tough one outside of the division. They've got games at New Orleans, San Francisco, Tampa Bay with Tom Brady. So you can see why I think nine wins are probably in store for Green Bay, and it's going to be tough to get above that. If you look at their efficiency numbers from last year, offensively, top 10, that was great. Of course, Aaron Jones, we just talked about the running back, having so much to do with that. Defensively, they were middle of the pack for the most part. Their DVOA was certainly middle of the pack. So this is looking like a nine wins team when you combine everything I just told you with that strength of schedule of 131 points. Not going to be easy for Green Bay to hit that 10 or 11 win mark. I certainly don't believe they're going to get to 13 
uh, like they did a season ago. So there's our thoughts on Green Bay. We've still got two more teams, Chicago and Detroit, to go in the NFC North before we wrap up the division. We'll do that over the next couple of days. And as far as the CPBL, or the Chinese Professional Baseball League, which is played in Taiwan, is concerned. Now, again, these are this is a game that goes on Sunday. There are two games on Sunday. They both start at 5.05 a.m. Eastern, 2.05 a.m. Pacific time. So that's why I posted this on Saturday's video. And we're looking at the game between the Uni Lions and the China Trust brothers. Uh, China Trust laying anywhere from a buck 40 to a buck 55. But what I'm looking at here is the total 11 and a half, little bit of juice on the over. And I know as far as uh, China Trust is concerned, they were one of the best or the best uh, defensive team in this league last year. But that's relatively speaking because this is not a well-pitched defensive team. Uh, league, as you know, we talked about that already. The total's always high, 11 and a half up to as high as 13 and a half. Uh, they're built better even on offense this year than they were last year. If you look at this Uni uh, President 7-Eleven Lions team, as they're called, uh, they were terrible last year. They were 48 and 70, the couple of ties. Uh, they go 12 innings after that, it's considered a tie if they go extras. So 48 and 70, couple of the ties in there. They average over four and a half runs per game. They give up six and a half runs per game. Uh, they struggled in every aspect you could think of when it comes to the defensive uh, positioning the defensive key stats. They allowed the most runs per game, as I mentioned, just six and a half. I mean, not just, but six and a half runs per game. And while they didn't score a lot last year, the hype is that they've got their best player back from last year. Now, he's a shortstop. They don't talk about his defense when they say they welcome back a guy who missed 100 out of 120 games last year. They talk about he's back, and it's great for them because he's got a 370 batting average, and he's their leadoff man who they missed so much a season before. So the indications on this particular team is that they're going to be better on offense, maybe not so much on defense. I think you're going to see both teams scoring runs. And don't forget China Trust, their bullpen likely in action in that first game Saturday morning at 2.05 a.m. Pacific and so they might not be quite as ready to go for this one little used up potentially uh, we'll see uh, with Saturday's game so I'm looking at the over and right now as I look at the different sports books I've got about 10 on my screen in front of me that uh, are lining and booking the Taiwan Baseball League and as I look at it 11 and a half over generally minus a dollar 15 up to minus a dollar 20 on the over and that's the way we're going to go so Sunday morning 5.05 a.m. Eastern 2.05 a.m. Pacific we are going to take China Trust and Uni, the Lions, to stay or to go over the posted total of 11 and a half. And that's going to do it for me for Sunday, early morning Taiwan baseball uh, and Saturday's video. Of course, we'll be back here on Sunday about 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, probably a little bit before that. And uh, we'll have hopefully a free play for Monday's Taiwan baseball league. So until then, there's your Green Bay Packers preview. There's your free Taiwan baseball play for Sunday or CPBL. And uh, good luck. Let's put them in the win column right back here Sunday morning no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.